Thomas by naming an African American woman to the Supreme Court. Let's talk with NBC's Chuck Todd, moderator of Meet the Press, about this. And Chuck, getting a nomination through the Senate can be a hard lift, but this will be an historic opportunity. We don't have a name yet, but will this be an easier sell for the Biden administration? Well, I think there's a few things that make this likely to be drama free, if you will, Charles. Uh, one is it's not changing the makeup of the court, right? Brett Kavanaugh was replacing Anthony Kennedy. That was shifting the court to the right, even though it was Republican conservative for conservative, right? Obviously, Amy Coney Barrett and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, that was a, that was a shifting of the court. Uh, but Gorsuch for Scalia, if you recall, was fairly drama free. Um, there were people still upset with the Merrick Garland aspect of it, but the actual Gorsuch, there wasn't, you know, this was, wasn't going to change the makeup of the court. So in this sense, I think there's that aspect. The second is, I think Republicans, you look at a Mitch McConnell because of that, I, he's, he'd rather see uh, the narrative continue on inflation. He does not want to have a culture war fight over this because anything that disrupts from an economy message, I think he doesn't think is as successful and as hopeful for Republicans if they want to take advantage of the midterms. So while I do think there'll be some on the far, far right who would like to engage in a culture war and want to make identity politics a thing, may engage a little bit. I think for the most part, the mainstream elected Republican leaders are not going to do that. And I think barring something we don't know, Charles, you look at the, the, the short list that the White House is dealing with, uh, tremendous uh, resumes, you know, the, the three, the, the short, short list of three judges, uh, one from from Florida, one from South Carolina, one from California. Any of those three stack up with any Supreme Court nominee we've seen before. I think any of them uh, get through this process fairly easily, barring something, again, barring something sure. we don't know. Right, right. But the politics here are aligning in a way that should benefit Biden. Well, speaking of politics, Justice Stephen Breyer's resisted calls last year by some liberals to step down and clear the way for a younger liberal mm -hmm. justice. But has the calculus changed on how long a justice should stay and when to get out? Well, there have been some attempts. You remember early on the president had uh, an, a, signed an executive order to study uh, things in the judiciary. I do think the one thing that has by wide support on both sides of the aisle is an age limit. Um, is it 75? Is it 80? Something, you know, I don't think we'll ever see term limits per se, but an age limit on the judiciary, uh, I think, is something that, that has some, uh, some, uh, some interest there. And it, and it, you could see, you know, 25 years or 80, right? Something right. like that. <laughs> right. um, that's a reform I could picture passing. Yeah. Something else I couldn't. We will watch this closely, and we will be watching you this Sunday. Thank you, Chuck Todd. You can watch Meet the Press Thanks, at 8 a.m. Yeah. this Sunday on TMJ4.